So today what we are going to do is design of sequen sequential circuit. Design of sequential circuit. That means uh, some specs will be given to you. We will start with some specs. I think I am back. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just a minute.
दूसरी मीटिंग किसने स्टार्ट किया
Okay, I am back. So just give me two two minutes to set the things up immediately. Karthik, just let me know whether you can see my screen. Yes, sir. I can see the screen. So there was a slight interruption in the department. Okay. So I'll just uh, start from the beginning. That uh, generally, when we talk about designing something, there is going to be some specs. Specs are in terms of state diagram, are in terms of state diagram, or state diagram is many times given as a problem statement. So we may have to develop a problem statement from a state diagram. Now, uh, with this. The next question arises. Which flip flop? So the next question is which flip flop? And once you decide the flip flop, then we can go with some kind of transition tables and then finally design hardware so it all starts with the state diagram till now we were starting with circuit and coming to state diagram so we used to start with circuit and come to state diagram so here there is a slight change in the approach so uh, karthik once again i want you to confirm whether my slide is visible and my audio is proper yes sir both are uh, clear so let's go ahead so this 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 question is like a potential 10 marks question in your exam so we will see uh, three four problems on this today and with different different states and so on so first you write down the design procedure so the first step is like i said from the given specification of the desired operation develop state table for the circuit so this specification that we are talking about will be in terms of state diagram will be in terms of state diagram then if the state diagram is not given then you have to create the state diagram so that is why i have written this step 2 this might be optional many times uh, the designer will give the specification in terms of state diagram then if possible there might be redundant states so we may have to reduce the number of states so here reduce the point number 3 talks about state reduction because many times we may develop a state diagram which is not reduced so whether there is a redundant state or not we can do that analysis by using implication chart method or partition table method Uh, we can use implic uh, partition table method if the number of states are less so if there are just five six states then it is easy to see uh, in the table but if the number of states are more if there are like let's say 100 states then we have to go for implication chart method then assign binary number to the states so this assign binary number you can understand so if you say state a is 00 state b is 01 and so on so we start assigning the 
binary numbers to the state. The number of bits required to assign the binary code to the state can be obtained using the formula 2 raised to n greater than or equal to n. So what is the meaning of this? That if there are four states, we will use three bits. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 for four states. Let's say if the number of states are 6, then we can start with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and then go up to 1, 0, 1. So it depends what is the number of states. N is the number of states. N is the number of bits required to assign the binary code. So now I think we have done enough digital design. So I don't have to justify that 2 raised to N should be greater than or equal to N. So I want you to take this down. Once you are done with this, just write done in the chat box. Uh, yes, now it is. Uh, please write down the steps very carefully and stop me in between because. This is a very important question with respect to exam. And even in this, there are many questions from this part. So chapter four is very important with respect to this. It's very important. Once you are done, just write done in the chat box. So we already had some interruptions, so we will cut short our break. Okay, so let's go ahead with step number seven, eight, and nine. You can so skip, you can just skip five and six because they are just uh, some assignments. That's it. Okay, I'll wait. Just let me know once you finish. Okay. Thank you. 
ठीक है उधर So I'll go to the next one. Select the type of the flip flop. Type of flip flop. So generally we will have only B, C, and then we will have J and K. SR is will not be there. Ninety nine percent we will not get SR. But since we know the excitation table of SR. i think we can very easily uh, find out what is the implementation with sr flip flop also so type of flip flop implies which kind of flip flop that is to jk or sr number of flip flops required to implement the circuit is equal to the number of bits used that means let's say there are four states a00 b01 c10 and d11 so you can see that to represent each states there are two bits and so the number of flip flops will be two flip flops that is what we mean by this statement that is number of flip flops required are equal to number of bits used to assign the binary then obtain the transition table Which describes the input of flip flops from present state to next state. So we want some relationship between present and next state. Now you should think here logically why present state and next state because when you look at state diagram. you are always in a certain state and you know the next state for a certain input so that is why you actually have present state and next state information in terms of state diagram then simplify and obtain the state equations so we require equations with respect to implementation we require state equations with respect to implementation of circuit and then finally realize this state equation that is obtained in step number 7 using flip flop and gates so you can actually this should be 7 and 9 using flip flop and gates so this realize part is slightly more important so previously we had circuit and we were going to state diagram from the circuit now we have state diagram and we are going to implement the circuit so as an engineer somebody will always come and tell you this should work this way after this state i want this state so you should be able to take those specs develop a state diagram and build a circuit so building a circuit is the main thing as far as electronics engineering is concerned so please copy this same point once you are done just type done in the chat box
so uh, with regards to this part i have uploaded three problem based statements three uh, problem based statements that is tbl on the teams so you can solve any one of them any one if you have time you solve three but even if you solve one it is good enough so that this tbl is based on this part so i have given just a problem statement and from that you have to build a state diagram for a vending machine or for a digital dice and so on so there are three different problem statements and you can pick up any one and start designing it based on this particular part So let's go ahead. I think the problem will make the thing very clear. You actually don't have to remember this. Uh, you know, tense. steps in a very hard way so let us look at a problem so this is the problem design the logic circuit which yields the logic behavior of the state diagram so you have to design the logic circuit you can see state diagram is given and most important thing is using the flip flop so in the exam if a state diagram is given and they have specifically said that you have to do it using the flip flop and by chance if you use jkt or sr you will get a big zero okay so remember that the implementation has to be using the given flip flop md so please draw the state diagram and once you complete the state diagram just try it. is d done this type is d done in the tab Okay, Anushka Mukherjee is there today. Anushka, I have not been seeing you since two, three classes. Where are you? Are you there or you are not there? Okay, Anushka is not there. Okay. Atharva Soni, are you there? Yes, sir. Atharva, are you there? Yes. Okay, just be a bit loud when you answer. Okay. Okay. Just keep the microphone close to your mouth. Yes, okay. sir. Now, Atharva, you have to answer certain questions based on the diagram that you can see. Uh, how many states can you identify in the given diagram? Four. Four states. That is right. So the states are S zero, S one, S two, S three, S two and S three. That is correct. Now 
I want to do some binary assignment to these states. I want to do some binary assignment to this state. So, which, uh, how many bits will I require to do the binary assignment? Two. Two bits. So, what will be the binary assignment for S0? Two. What can zero, you see the binary? Zero, zero, okay. What about S1? Zero, one. Okay. S2? One, zero. And S3? One, one. One, one. Okay. Now, second question. The given circuit is a Moore circuit or a Millet circuit? The state diagram which is given, which is there in front of you, is a Moore circuit or a Milli circuit? So Moore circuit. Moore circuit. Can you tell us why? The output doesn't depend on X. The output doesn't depend on X. Okay. Can you tell me where the output is written? In this particular state diagram, S zero. Okay. S three. Okay. So what is S zero slash wherever there is S zero slash zero, that is your output, right? Yes. And where is the input? on the arrow okay so this is going to be my input okay very good atharva so atharva has now given us the analysis or has answered some preliminary question regarding the state diagram so you can all see now that uh, we have some kind of initial information about the state diagram So all should copy this state diagram and once you are done with it, just type done in the chat box. Atharo, you can uh, mute yourself again. Thank you. Okay, so let us hope that you have drawn the state diagram and uh, the next step would be assigning binary values to the states. So we will just draw the state diagram again with the help of binary values. So you can just see here that the state diagram I have drawn and uh, I have created a state table from this particular state diagram. Okay. Now you can see states is zero. That is when X is equal to zero, that time the next state, this is next state, this is present state. So presently if I am in S0, my next state would be S0 if X is equal to zero. And if X is equal to one, my next state is going to be S1. And the output of S0, the output corresponding to S0 is zero. So you can see here S0 and zero. So present state and present state output, I will write here again here. So you can see here S1, we are having zero, S2, we are having zero, S3, we are having one. So depending on the X state of the given state diagram, we will generate the state table. So don't draw this uh, state diagram again. 
just draw the state table. Any doubts in the state table, please ask. How I generated the state table, if you have doubts in that, please ask. So let's go to the next step, that is step number two. So now we are coming reverse, okay? Previously from the circuit, we used to try and make the state table and from the state table, we were trying to make the state diagram. But now from state diagram, we are making the state table. Okay. Now, step number two is by assign binary numbers to states. So like I told you, state S0 is 00, zero. this is S1, this is S2, and this is S3. So you can see here, S1, S2, and S3 are being replaced by just binary numbers. Now, why do we replace this by binary numbers? Because we want to fill tables for QA and QB. So QA and QB can be binary numbers. They cannot be characters. QA and QB, you cannot write like this. It is not possible. So that is the reason why we convert it to binary numbers. So now what you will do is, you will draw this state table with binary assignments. So write step number two. And the state diagram also, you will change it to all binary assignment. So now you can see that there are no characters in this. There are just binary assignments, nothing else. Okay, once you are done with this, Tanish, have you understood this? Yes, sir. It yes. is pretty simple, but we are going to look slow. Now, our task is please don't forget the question in between. We have to do a circuit implementation using D50. So somewhere we have to introduce D flip flop in the implementation.
okay so let's go ahead if you have drawn the state diagram now since we have to use a d flip flop since we have to use a d flip flop we should write the excitation table of excitation table is also called as transition table So please go write step number three. Type of flip flop that is given to us is two. Number of flip flop Atharva has rightly identified that it is two. And then what is given to us is the transition or the excitation table of the D flip flop. Now important point to note: Q n plus one is the same as D. Q n plus one. Is the same as we just draw the transition table, or rather, we can simply write here D is equal to Q n plus one. D is equal to Q n plus one. So whatever is there, so if we are making a table of Q a and Q b and Q a plus and Q b plus like this, then whatever is here in Q a plus and Q b plus, straight away we can write it as D a and D b. That is the advantage of doing it. But anyways, we just write the excitation table for now, and then we will see see that in step number four. Okay. Now I'm just picking one student. So let us see who is there. Okay. So Amit Chaudhary, can you unmute yourself? Amit Chaudhary. Okay. Anushka Rani, are you there? Anushka Rani. Okay. Okay. Darshan Jain. Can you unmute yourself? Hmm. 
दर्शन जैन दर्शन कुमार मोहिते यस सर ओके सो जस्ट अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ यस सर यस सर नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द स्टेट टेबल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द स्टेट टेबल नाउ यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर that the four states can be 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 so this is what you can very well see and qa bar and qb bar i have just written it for formality so you can see that these are the present states 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so typically this is s0 s1 s2 and is to just to identify then we have input x so you can see that for a <coughs> given uh, x we are having some next states that means if my current state is 0 0 that is the present state if x equal to 0 then the next state is going to be Zero zero. So this information I am writing from the state diagram. So first I write Q A, Q B, then I write X, and X bar I just write it as a formality. Q A plus and Q B plus. So these two we will write from state diagram, or you can write it from state. Table. The state table is just a proper explanation of a state diagram. So this is what we will feel, feel using a state diagram or a state table. So I think the first one is given or present states. This is the input, and this is coming from the state diagram. So since we have to implement this whole thing using D flip flop. now we want da and db as a function of qa qb and x we want da db as a function of qa qb and x that is what we want but how to fill da we can get a function of qa qb and x no problem but first we have to fill this so you can now observe in the transition table or in the excitation table of d flip flop q n plus 1 was equal to d q n plus 1 was equal to d this i am writing from what excitation table of d flip flop So since this is the case, you can see Q A plus is the same as D A. Q A plus is the same as D A, and Q B plus is also going to be the same as D B. so we are now taking advantage of this d flip flop work and as you can see
Karthik, can you just confirm whether you are able to see my screen or not? Yes, sir. I can see the screen. Okay. Uh, so I think now things are okay, but still we'll start at 11:30. So in the meantime, uh, I am at my previous state table. So I just told you how DA is equal to QA plus and DB is equal to QB plus. So I want you all to write down this state table. Uh, I will change the slide exactly at eleven thirty.
okay so i hope all of you have written this fake table now going ahead with this that is the next step that is the k map for da db and d there okay now uh, tanish can you tell us what at which which positions in the k map you will have one okay tanish is not there okay tanvi hello sir ha tanish you are there yes sir yeah so now by looking at the table can you tell me at which positions there are ones in the k map yes sir ha uh, tell me sir uh... Zero one one for position number three. Okay. One zero one position number five. Okay, five. And uh, one 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 for position number seven. Hello, sir.
दर्शन जस्ट कीप योर माइक ऑन यू कार्तिक कैन यू अगेन कंफर्म यस सर देयर इज आई डोंट नो देयर इज अ लाइन कनेक्टिविटी प्रॉब्लम आउटसाइड द कॉलेज सो दैट्स व्हाई आवर इंटरनेट इज स्लाइटली फ्लक्चुएटिंग इन बिटवीन बट एनीवेज वी विल जस्ट कंप्लीट एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो वी वर एट स्टेप 5 एंड तनिष्क वाज आंसरिंग व्हिच वर द एलिमेंट्स वन so you can see in the previous uh, table here uh, da this is the zero position 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so you can see at 3 5 and 6 we have ones and that is the reason why in this 3 uh, 5 and 7 we have one so that is why we have this thing is 7 so that is why we have ones at those places and then finally we have our qax this solve the k map and then we have qdx so i think yash has given this answer yash does your answer match with this yes sir okay so can you go ahead with qdb also sir i have posted the answers on chat box okay so can you tell me which are the terms which are one yes sir uh, one 5 and 7 one 5 and 7 okay so that is correct and these are the answers for that so one is qb bar x that is right and the second one is qax that is also right so yes i think your answers are same and now yes i cannot see the answer for z i got it for d so for it sir for after d. that i have posted it z okay. also So there has to be three K maps. One is for D A D B and Z. That is always number of input of flip flops plus one for output plus one for output. So please note down the K maps. हेलो सर यस सर दिस इज प्रथमेश बिफोर द इंटरप्शन आई थिंक यू वर कॉलिंग आउट माय नेम इवन आई वाज हैविंग नेटवर्क इश्यूज माय कॉल वाज बीइंग ड्रॉप्ड ओके सो मे बी यू कैन टेल अस द आंसर फॉर जेड नो प्रॉब्लम ओके सर प्लीज टेल मी द आंसर फॉर जेड इन द मीनवाइल अदर्स आर कॉपिंग दिस थिंग calculate the answer for z sir it is qa qb x qa qb and x no sir wait sir it is only qa qb okay let's
Okay, Karthik, can you please again confirm? Yes, sir. Screen is visible and audio is also proper. Okay, so Tanvi and Heman have given the right answer. That is, Z is equal to Q A and Q B. So actually, what we have done from all this analysis is, we found out that we require two flip flops, B A and Q A. Let's say we require flip flops, B A and Q A. B, B, and Q, B. So this will have some outputs, Q, A, and Q, B. And the hardware that will come at the input of B, A, now we know. And we also know the hardware that will come at the input of B, B. That also we know. So we also know Z is equal to. So we again have some hardware here based on.
Okay, so again I am back. And uh, Karthik, can you please confirm? Yash or Karthik, can you confirm? Yes, sir. Your screen is visible and you are audible, sir. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll just finish off with this one particular problem and probably review next time because there is a lot of internet issue and uh, the continuity is important in the course. So this is what we have designed. That is the hardware. Now, the actual implementation of this is going to be like this. So, you can see that you have one flip flop here, flip flop one, then you have flip flop two, and like you can see, here we have QA, and here we have QB, and that QA comes here, and you can see QB comes here. And here we have x. So this is qa plus qb dot x. So that is x qa plus x qb. And here if you see, uh, this is going to be qb bar. And x is coming here. So what you would get here is qa plus qb bar. And the output here would be x dot qa plus x qb bar. So those are your inputs, and z is going to be qa dot qb. So from z itself, you can say that this is a Mohr circuit. So please copy this logic circuit implementation. So how will you draw? You will show two flip-flops, then hardware, hardware at the input of DA, hardware at the input of DB. And based on the outputs, you will make a, that is QA and QB, you will make Z. Like this. So the general diagram is this. Come on, start copying this. Then you can go to the second problem. So any doubts in this diagram, please ask. Vishwas. Any doubts in the diagram? Yes, sir. No, no doubts, sir. Okay.
हेलो सर यस सर कुड यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन द फ्लो लाइक फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव टू स्टार्ट एंड देन सो फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्टेट डायग्राम Uh, no sir no sir while uh, implementing the circuit like it is a big okay, circuit okay. so okay so that's a good question i was expecting that actually in anyway, while we'll just do it for you and then so uh, what we i'll do is i'll just uh, stop sharing my slide for two minutes so this is prathamesh right yes sir okay see my screen now can you see the white screen yes sir white okay so what we do is first i'll draw two blocks so we know that there are two flip flops okay uh, i'll call this as da and db obviously flip flops have two outputs qa and i'll call it as qa bar and here we will have qb and qb bar so now look at the k map equations so there are k map equations for da then we have db and then we have z so you can identify that here we have da here we have db and z would be somewhere here so let's look at z because z is easier to identify as such what is the value of z Z is Q A Q B Q A dot Q B na dot na yes sir Q Q A dot Q B dot means I will require and with so this is my Q A so I'll connect Q A here and this is my Q B so what I'll get here is Z and Z is equal to Q A dot Q B. This is this much clear? Yes, sir. Now both the flip flops will require a clock because it's a synchronous circuit. So you can just connect this like this and say that uh, you know this is a clock. So this is a clock button. Is that fine? Uh. now since yes. i have made those circuits on dsch you can also use one you can every flip flop will also have a reset button so we have here let's say rst and just writing r for the time being so that is basically a we require a reset So here we will require a reset, but still you can see that we have not used anything on D A and D B. So D A and D B terminals are still unused. Now, can you tell me what is the equation for D A? Since I am not able to go back, D A was yes, equal sir. to what? Yes, sir. D A is D A is Q A dot X. Q A dot X plus Plus uh, QB dot X. QB dot X. So you can take X common, and or you can leave it that way also. No problem. This is QA plus QB. So what I do here is uh, I take uh, AND gate. The output of the AND is like this. one input of the and is x 
and the other input of the AND gate will be OR of QA and QB. Did you understand this? Yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, can you tell me what is DB? Uh, DB is QA dot X plus QB bar dot X. QB bar dot QB bar dot X. That's it, right? Plus QB bar. Yes, sir. Okay. QB bar so, dot X. QB bar dot X. Okay. So again, here also, what you can do is you can take X common. QA plus QB bar. So similar thing we can use here also. So I'll just take it above. So here we will give X and to a OR gate. Here we will give QA and QB bar. So this is so what you are actually seeing is like a proper implementation of the circuit. Did you get it? Yes, sir. So you Thank can you, see sir. that here also there is a here also there is a or and here there is a and and here also there is a or and there is a and so same thing x and so the same x I have given here. But while drawing, you can draw how I was drawing. Okay, so if you have completed this, just write done in the chat box. Okay, Heman answer is correct. Gaurav Gosavi answer is correct. Now in the exam, sometimes they will tell you, they will give you a state diagram, they will give you a state diagram and they will try to tell you to implement with D as well as JK or T and JK or T and D. So they will tell you to implement the same circuit using two different flip flops. So that is the next problem. Our next problem is based on that. So should we go to problem number two? Karthik, should we move ahead? Yes. Okay. So Ham, Shubham, have you completed? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's go to problem number two. Just copy this problem. A, se a sequential circuit has one input and one output. So they have given you this thing. So they have clearly mentioned that there is one X and there is one Z. So sometimes X can be like this also, X1, X2, 
x3 dot 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 it, there can be multiple x and there can be multiple z also so the, you can imagine how complicated the state diagram can become so copy this the state diagram of the sequential circuit is shown in the figure so i'll just show you the figure design and obtain the logic diagram for the sequential circuit using we have d flip flop jk flip flop and t flip flop so now we have one state diagram and the same state diagram we have to implement using d jk and t and once you do this what we can do is we can do a comparison which is better which requires lesser hardware does jk require lesser hardware t require lesser hardware or d requires lesser, lesser hardware so we will choose that flip flop so choose the one which requires less hardware choose the one which requires less hardware so i am just putting the state diagram on the screen so that you can copy the state diagram properly in the exam also i have very commonly seen these mistakes students do not copy the state diagram which is given in the paper into their Uh, into their answer book so when you are picking the state diagram from the question paper at that time also you have to be careful because maybe one or zero is given and on the arrow but if you write the other way around and design your design would be correct but not as per the given state diagram so that is why in a way it becomes wrong so that is why please copy this correctly and cross check again and again whether the diagram that is given whether i am working on the same or not so that is something that you have to ensure so here also these are there are four states uh shubham dai can you tell us can you tell me whether this circuit is a more circuit or a milli circuit the state diagram is of a more circuit or a milli circuit it is a milli circuit can you say again loudly please it is a milli circuit sir milli circuit okay milli circuit means why it is a milli circuit so because its output depends on present state and input yes but you cannot see a function z is equal to z as a function of qa qb and x right so this is not the reason why you are saying it can you actually tell me why you call it as a milli circuit actually there was a zero slash one so i said is like ha huh. so that is the right answer because you can see that no state has been first thing that you have to observe is there is no such thing here a and some value for that state right that is the first thing so it's definitely not a move and you can see the arrows i have whenever you see zero slash something you can declare that it's a state diagram of milli circuit is that okay everybody so i think shubham you must have used these two observations to declare that it is a milli circuit because as such we have not seen an equation for z yet so that is out of the question but yes probably when we do the k map we will get something z as a function of qa qb and x so once you draw this diagram state diagram please type done in the chat box right done in the chat box
okay so let's go to the problem now now i want you to uh, so this problem has got three parts first we will implement using b then we will implement using jk and then we will implement using p flip flop so now let us go to the implementation using d flip flop so this is the state table that is states are a b c and d and the next states can be easily found out so not necessarily always they will give so in the exam they may write here 00 01 10 1, 1, and 11 1. if that is the case then you can directly write the state table in terms of binary values if that is not the case first you will write the state table in terms of the given state diagram and then you will draw the state diagram state table with the binary assignments so as you can see here uh, a is 00 0, b is 0 1 c c this is b and this is b c b c and this is c b b a c d d a so similar so please draw these state tables so this we have to draw only once state table we will draw only once and then the implementations using d j k n that we have to draw two three times so once you are done with this please write done in the chat box Okay, so I hope you have taken down the state table, uh, especially the second one, that is with the binary values. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, with this second state table, we have to build the state table with the flip flop. But as a procedure, we should first write down the excitation table of the D flip flop because this is our method number one that is implementation using D flip flop. 
So one, when you are doing implementation using D flip flop, first you will write the excitation table of the D flip flop. And again and again, I'm saying that D is equal to Q n plus one. So whatever is there in Q n plus one, we can straight away copy it into D. So this excitation table is not new for you, but you can just note it down quickly. And I am interested in actually the next slide that is going to be this one. So here you can see we have Q A Q B, we have X. X bar is just for formality. This is coming from state diagram. You can draw it from state diagram, or you can draw this from state table. So state table has got present state and next state. So for a certain present state combination, zero zero, when x is equal to zero, what is the next state? We can easily write that. So actually, this is state B. This is going to be C. This is C. This is D. This is again B, D, C, and D. So these are our next states, which you can easily identify when x is equal to zero, when x is equal to one. So this is state A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. So the next state of A is going to be B when x is zero. And the next state of A will be C when x is one. So this is directly from the state table, and now this is similar to what we have done before. This B A is exactly the same as Q A. And Q B. Is exactly the same as DB. Exactly the same as DB. And Z is also given. So Z does not change. Yes. So one thing I want to tell you: when you change the implementation from D to JK, only Instead of D A and D B, we will have J A K A J J A K A J B K B. If we change it to T, then instead of D A and D B, I will get T A and T B. This thing is fixed. Output is going to remain fixed. It will not change if you change the implementation of the D flip flop to J K or J K to T. The reason is because whether it is D flip flop or whether it is J K flip flop or whether it is T flip flop, all flip flops have got only uh, two outputs. That is Q A and Q A, Q and Q bar. So in that sense, so in that sense, Z depends only on Q A. That is the outputs of the flip flop. So all flip flops. Will have the same number of outputs. However, the input conditions for every flip flop might change based on which flip flop you are going to use. That is why Z always remains the same. So please copy this particular table quickly. Any doubts in this? Please unmute and ask. so we will go up to the k map and then the drawing part you can do later on that is the circuit drawing part you can do it slightly later on but we will go up to k map how to actually design because k map tells us whether this is going to you know when you are coming
so i will always want that you should draw this table on your own but nevertheless so those who have completed with this table they can start making the k maps for da db and z they can start making the k maps for da db and z and post their answers in the chat box Okay, so let's go ahead. So this K map for D A, D B, and Z. So first is D A. So can anybody tell me which terms are one? One, two, three, five, and six. One, two, three, five, and six. Okay, let's check. Yes, that is correct. So this is going to be the value of da. Just check it out. Check check each and every term. Qb x bar that is right, and q bar x. Can somebody tell me the min terms for db? Sir, zero, three, four, five. Zero, three, four, and five. Let's check that out. Okay, that is also correct. So, just copy the second K map, not the first one. The K map in which the pairs are shown.
and continue with the calculation of z also So let's look at the calculation of Z. Can somebody tell me which are the terms inside Z? Zero three. Zero three. Five. Five. Okay, so. The XOR combination by just looking at it only I can tell. So no all the ones are isolated and this gives rise to basically Z becomes QA XOR QB XOR QC. So if you simplify this, you will get QA XOR QB XOR. So please copy this. And those who have calculated all three, DA, DB, and Z, now it's time to implement the same thing using D flip flop. So you can just start the implementation of the D flip flop or Consider thinking about what it would be like on similar guidelines for JK flip flop. Sir, uh, instead of QC, it should be X, no? Instead of QC, yes, yes, yes. So that's a mistake. It should be X, right? I'll just change it. Correct. There is no third flip flop, there is just two flip flops. Okay, now start with the implementation. So that is absolutely right. So this will become now. What like this? Z becomes QA XOR QB XOR X. So this plus this plus this becomes like this. Okay. 
so that's right now implementation will be somewhat like this so you can see that the this is one hardware this is the this is for da is equal to all this and you can see here this is the hardware for db and here we have qa qb and here we have qa xor qb xor with x so z would be qa xor qb xor x so you can just leave some space for drawing this diagram you can draw it later because it's just the implementation of the kn so what i will suggest is now we will quickly go to the later part of this that is the implementation using jk fit so please copy this now so you can see when we wrote here implementation using d flip flop we were drawing excitation table of d flip flop now since we are implementing it using jk flip flop we have to draw the excitation table of jk flip flop and here you can now see that qn plus 1 is not equal to j and that is not equal to k so here we have to do some effort so please write this title implementation using jk flip flop i will wait for 2 minutes until you draw the excitation table of jk flip flop Okay. Now, here it is important to see the next table. Q n and Q n plus one, the relationship. So we are just. What does the excitation table do? Excitation table tells us the relationship of inputs in terms of outputs, and the truth table gives us always output in terms of inputs. So this is the other way. now why we are using inputs in terms of output because we have the outputs all i need to do is use proper gates and give the same way as input so input here is more important so this is going to be the table now you can see present state column is going to be same as before this input x and x bar will be same as before qa plus and qb plus columns will be same as before this is new this is new and the output is the same so all we need to do is see how this thing works that's it so this is new now what i'll do is the obvious question is how did we get the values of j k that is j a k a and j b k b how did we get both get got those values so the answer to that is from the transition table now what i'll do is i'll just write the transition table here q n plus 1 j n k so this is 0 0 1 1 this is 0 1 0 1 
So for that, J value was zero one x six, and K value will be x x one zero. This is the transition table of J flip, excitation table of J K flip flop. Now you should see here that if now we want to fill J A and K A, so for that we will look at Q A and Q A plus. We will look at Q A and Q A plus columns. You can see this is zero zero. So zero zero means J is zero, K is X. J is zero, K is X. Q A I next is zero and one. So zero one means J is one, K is X. Then again zero zero. So we have sorry, not this zero one. We have same one x. Then we have zero and one again. So again, that will be one and x. So by looking at the excitation table, we will fill the values of J A and K A. Any doubts in this? Similarly. If you want to fill J B and K B, you will have to look at Q B and Q B plus to fill J B and K B. So please copy this table, and then the rest of the procedure is the same. When you are using D flip flop, you are calculating D A, D B, and Z. Now the number of K maps will increase with J K flip flop. That is J A K A J B K B and Z. So in all, we will have five K five K maps of three variables each. J A K A J B K B and Z will depend on Q A Q B and X. They will depend on Q A Q B and X. Any doubts in this? Please unmute and ask. Once you are done, just write done in the chat box, and then we'll quickly go through the key maps. So you can start filling the key maps. You can see there are lots of don't cares now in the key map. So there is a possibility of getting a quad, and since there are lots of don't cares, we will get quads. And quads will give me lesser hardware, so the reduction will be even better. So we have to optimize the design for minimum hardware, and we have to optimize the design for minimum number of flip flops. Okay, let us go ahead with the K maps. So the K map for this thing, what will be the K map here? So four, five, six, seven. I think we don't care, and all this is one. So this is your K map. Simply Q A plus Q X. 
and this is the KNAP for KA. So if somebody can observe this, KA is also QB X nor X. KA is QB X nor X. Oh, sorry. That is wrong. I thought this is regular. Uh, just a minute. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, in in uh, case of J, it should be uh, Q B or X, right? It should be Q B, right? Q B, and this is right. It is right. And here also you will get QB and X and QB and X. Is that okay? So go ahead with JB and KB and Z. Z will be the same as before only because Z column has not changed. Na? So that is why the K map for Z will be the same QA, XOR, QB, XOR, X. Only the inputs that is JK, JB, KB are going to change. Okay, so I'm going for JB and KB quickly. So this is JB and this is going to be KB. So you can see JB and KB are equation wise same. JB and KB are equation wise same. That is JB is equal to KB. So we can short them. You can see JB and KB are equation wise the same. So you can short them in the implementation. Let's go with the implementation of Z is going to be the same. 
and this is going to be the hardware this is going to be the implementation now what you should distinctly see what you should distinctly see between a d flip flop implementation and a jk flip flop implementation is that the jk flip flop requires lesser hardware whereas the d flip flop was requiring tremendous hardware at the inputs da and db that is why most of the times we prefer jk flip flops over d flip flops and t flip flops as far as the state machines are concerned lesser hardware only means lesser routing lesser uh, delays high speed so all these factors will come into the picture so i hope you have you are now convinced that for the same state diagram the jk flip flop implementation requires lesser hardware as compared to the d flip flop so t flip flop you can do on similar guideline uh, in the d flip flop state tables you can just replace da and db by ta and tb use the excitation table of t flip flop and generate the ta and tb columns and then apply k map to find out what is going to be the hardware around the inputs t a and t b the output z will remain exactly the same so z columns we are not touching so i have clearly highlighted which columns we are touching and which columns we are not touching so that's it from my side and sorry for the interruptions today there was a major uh, power failure outside the college because of that uh, the network was getting disturbed in the college there was no problem so i think uh, that's it from my side for today it's already 1 1 so thank you if there are any questions i'm here for another 5 10 minutes to answer them just let me take the attendance हेलो सर सर तेरे एक्सपेरिमेंट बेस्ड एक्सटेंड कर रहा ना सम जस्ट वन मिनट